Hello everybody, Stallions, Handsome Jackboy here, bringing you guys the 12th episode of my Rainbow Six Vegas 2 Let's Play. Today, I'm continuing where we left off, right here in wherever the crap this place is. What is this place called? I don't even know. It's some sort of, it's like some sort of convention center. I don't even know. And we just, uh, in the last episode, we just disarmed this bomb on this, uh, this creepy guy, man, he is creepy looking. Ew, his eyes are like, oh. <laughs> and I, wait, what the, is he like, uh, he chained to the chair or something, or what's going on? It looks like he's, so we're just going to leave him here, rot, I guess, uh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, continue where we left off right here. And let's do this. Let's do this. Let's kill some terrorists. Alrighty, guys, yeah, let's move. Remember those guys right out here. We did kind of go through this part last time in the last episode, but we ended up failing pretty hard, so hopefully we can uh, breeze through it this time. Buy him, son. Reloading. Kill through cover. I really want to get to elite in this game though. Oh, snap on a cracker. There we go. Snap on a cracker. That made no sense. X tendis. X pad the imaginary. Whatever that means. Alright, let's move my squad here. Gotta remember up <laughs> gotta remember about my squad here. Cause, uh, yeah, I'm just, I usually go solo here. I don't mean to, though. It's the problem. I always forget about them, you know? Oh. Alrighty. Move up, move up. Contact Tango. Oh, oh. Behind the door. I'm just trying to concentrate right here, guys. This part's pretty pretty crazy. I don't want to die again for you guys. I want to get through this successfully. Buy him, son. Let's pull out some Arctic Warfare action. If I can remember how to play. Still not really used to these uh, controls here. <clears throat> Alright, let's regroup. Gotta remember that. Following. Alright, there's a ton of guys in here if I remember right. Let's move my squad right there. Oh snap. Oh snap. I'll stand down. Oh, dude, that was almost a headshot. That was almost a headshot. Oh, come on. That was a headshot. Friggin' heck. Hit, hit markers. <laughs> hit markers. <laughs> uh, friggin' hit markers. Friggin' head markers. There we go. Bam. There we go. Reloading. Is that it? Move up. But yeah, um. I wanted to uh, tell you guys something here. I just got back from, just like a couple hours ago, I got back from, uh. Uh, Bowie's. Bo Bowie's, Idaho? Bowie's, Idaho? I think that's how you pronounce it. I always forget how to pronounce it. Bowie's, Idaho? Bo something like that. Bo Boise, Boise, there we go, something like that, Boise, Idaho, um, I just got back from there, uh, me and my mom and my dad, we went to, uh, the Mythbusters behind the Myths tour there in Boise, Idaho, uh, which I, I didn't tell you guys, I was gonna let you guys know on Twitter about that, but, you know, I just, 
figured I might as well just tell you guys here, you know, kind of how it went and on this video, kind of how it went. And yeah, we went to go see the Mythbusters. They're do basically doing this tour right now. I think this behind the myth tour, which is really pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Mythbusters. If you guys didn't know, uh, yeah, I live in Utah by the way, and we yeah we we drove all the way to Boise, Idaho. Oh, sweet, next scene. And uh, yeah, we saw their show, and it was it was it was really good in my opinion. Uh, it was really good. I thought I thought it was great because you know I'm a big fan of MythBusters. So we we got a we got a Jamie Heineman bobblehead talking bobblehead while we were there. A souvenir because they had some souvenirs. It's it's pretty funny. He's like he says, well, "When will the fun ever stop?" And he's like, "I love seeing Adam in pain. It's it's, it's funny, guys. I'm just a huge fan of MythBusters. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I also um." I was gonna post some pictures of this too, but I I dressed up as Jamie Heineman for uh, Halloween. I might still do that though. I might still post that on Twitter or something. Show you guys. It's pretty funny. It wasn't the best, you know. Uh, like the my beard and stuff was didn't really look like his that much, you know. But it still it was pretty pretty close match. Pretty close match. Oh, there we go. Night. Yeah, it was pretty fun. You know, we stayed at a hotel for a night, so it was basically just a one night ordeal. I was hoping to stay up there, you know, a little bit longer because we just it took a while to get up there. It took like five hours to drive up there and then back. So, five hours to drive up there and five hours to drive back. So, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, you know, talk tell you guys about that. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun stuff. And if you guys like Mythbusters, I still I think they're still doing that tour for uh I think they're still um still doing that tour and going around to other places. So if if you guys are interested, you know, they might be coming to your area, you know, you can uh go check out their site or whatever, Mythbusters behind the myths tour. I thought it was pretty good, you know. Um they kind of did some, you know, experiments and stuff, and they had a lot of audience participation, and Adam was really funny, you know. It's really funny. And there's a difference in personalities with Adam and Jamie, though. You know, Adam's, like, really, really, you know, uh, you know, hyper, and he was really funny, too at this show and Jamie's just you know not he's pretty shy and he's, you know so there's <laughs> you know without Adam the show wouldn't you know it wouldn't have people have been like oh this is, this is boring but yeah it was good it was good I liked it oh crap freaking getting stuck on this <laughs> What the freak is going on right here? It's like glitching. White. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, crap, my squad. I, gosh, I keep forgetting about my squad. I guess I know that I was free, freaking... I just want to go through an entire campaign mission solo without my squad. Just kind of leave them in the first area. Just like tell them to stay in the first area. Like a mission that you don't need the squad. Well, I think there is a mission later... In the campaign, and I think it's the mission I got stuck on uh, when I was just running through this campaign a long, a long time ago. Uh, and I got stuck on a mission. Yeah, I've never beaten this campaign. I think I've mentioned that in an older episode than this uh, Let's Play. I haven't beaten this campaign, so I I got stuck on a mission where you don't have your squad. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about here. And it was, I remember it was really hard, so hopefully we can get her done when we get to that point, you know. And yeah, let's, let's keep going, there's, there's no enemies here. I think I cleared them all out, Arctic warfare them out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty tired though, you know, it's a long drive, and I just wanted to get a video done for you bros, so. But yeah, if you're a big Myth Mythbusters fan, then you know, look up. Mythbusters behind the myth tour and see if they're uh, coming to your area so you can go watch our show. It's pretty good. 
Uh, there is like VIP tickets, which I was hoping we can get. We could get, which is like you can sit front row seats, you know, like right there, and, you know, in front of them. And man, it'd have been awesome. I and mean, you can you can meet and greet them, which oh, I thought that would be awesome. But you know, they sold out really fast, so we were gonna get them, but. They're also pretty expensive, so it's also another reason why we didn't get them. But we were looking at them, and then they said it was sold out. So. Yeah, but I'd be really cool if we could meet them. If I could uh, meet the Mythbusters. Yeah, the other three weren't there though. Tori, Carrie, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Grant, Grant Imahara, or whatever his name is, they weren't there. It was just, it was just Jamie Heineman and uh, Adam Savage. But still, really good show. Really good show, nonetheless. Oh, gosh. Man, you could, like, easily quick scope in this game, guys. I mean, look at that. Bam! Instantly in scope. Oh, snap, son. Really easily quick scope in this game. It's so weird how you go up stairs so fast you know it's so weird look look at bam walk up the stairs so fast in this game it's weird I'm gonna use a shotgun the heck why oh is he pointing somewhere the crap ew he's just like Straight face, you. <laughs> oh man, the NPCs in this game, guys. I do. I have to say though, this game looks like an Xbox, like original Xbox game. You know. Oh wait, hold on. Can't we snake cam? Oh yeah. I have a. No. Fuck. No. No! Oh, dang it! I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to figure out how to tag the enemy. And I accidentally uh, made him open and clear. So, dang it. Alright. It's T, I know, but I have like a, a preset on this, uh, I think on this gaming mouse here that I have. It's got, you know, extra buttons that I can use, and I, I'm pretty sure I set. Set T to one of these buttons, but you know I don't know. Let's just wait. Hold on, I think I know. There we go. Sweet. All right, I think I'm gonna go around see what else there is. See other, what other doors there are. I can go through this door. Let's just do that. Alrighty. Let's pull up my AK-47. There we go. And let's have them... Should we have them breach? Let's have them breach. Uh, which one? There we go. Oh. Bam! I, like, stunned him. That was nice. Alright, let's get on this turret. If I don't die... Oh gosh, there's a guy right there. Oh gosh, I can't see. The screen's blurry. Whoa, cool. If you hold the uh, right mouse, you like, stay down. That's nice. That, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Sweet. Glass doesn't break. So weird. But yeah, this game doesn't really have the best graphics. You know, it's pretty decent, but it does look like an Xbox game. Uh, I think this is one of the first 360 games they came out. You know, so that could be why. Because you know, when the consoles first come out, like these new next-gen consoles, the games are you know they don't look that good. But uh, later on, you know, they're gonna look great. I'm pretty sure. So. These next gen console games. Alright, what do we do? Do we have to fast drop? Oh, wait, no, we keep going down this hall, right? 
I'm pretty sure there's going to be some guys down here. So, long range engagements. Oh, yep. Freak smoke grenade. There's guys in the windows. Oh, I got him when he was coming down on the rope. Quick scope action. That was nice. All right, let's throw an incendiary down there. See if we can get somebody. Nope. Almost got somebody, though. Again, again. Dang it. Think we cleared him out. Oh, no. Dang it. There's still more guys down there. Sprint. Go, go, go. What the freak, dude? What the freak, man? There was a guy right there hiding behind that thing. Really? Come on. Come on. Back here. You gotta be joking me. I mean, this part, this next part right here, though, isn't that bad. Because there's that turret, you know, it's just pretty beast in it, so. Let's see if I can have my guys going right here. Oh, snaps up. Let's just have him go down here and kind of clear some guys out, and I'll go through here. It's not really the best idea, though. Just... No, AK. He's dead! Alrighty. Contact. Refrigerators. Mowing them down. Sweetness. Awesome. Let's have my guys go down that hallway. Let's have them go right there. Right, now, right there. Well, no, let's have them go right there. Because then I can hide behind that uh, wall and we can snap some fools. Hopefully we can quit scope this guy. Jumps down. Oh wait, no, you can just see him right there. Ah, <laughs> sweet. But I think there's another guy. That... Oh, we almost got him in the head. That was that would have been nice. More smoke. I think that kills enemies next to it. Boom. Yeah, leveling leveling up is pretty slow in this game, guys. pretty slow I mean that's not a big deal to me but you know it can be kind of a little uh, frustrating at times oh, see there is a guy right there cuz you know I don't know I don't know how to explain that but it just it just took me a while to get to elite you know and it was like it's just like you know when am I gonna get there you know it's like I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. Kind of gets frustrating though, but I I like how you know it takes a while to level up. I like that. I do like that though. And I, I think there is unlimited levels in this. Past elite, you know, there's you, past elite. You like, I think it's just infinite amount of elites. Like for example, there's elite one, there's elite two, there's elite three, there's elite four. So I think so. I've seen somebody like elite thirty, and they must have put so many freaking hours in this game, man. So many hours. But alright, let's just refill. I love the weapons I got. So, checkpoint reached. Prepare for entry. Prepare for entry. Alright, are they. Wait a second. Hold on. You can go over there too, but what's, what's in here? Oh, snapper. This is just like another extra room or something? Or? Alright, hurry. Breach. What? I told them to get to the door. What are they doing? What the freak are these guys doing? Are they coming or not? Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, man. AI guys, AI. Pathetic. <laughs> what the? They're just 
freaking <laughs> oh man it's like they have an AI path that's telling them to go through this sign but yeah it's not working out let's see if we can get them get them to go somewhere else okay now go through here okay there we go make sure they don't get caught up in another sign here alright 